to 10 electrical resistance. Ohm's law states that in a wire, potential difference is proportional to current when the temperature is constant. Therefore, the resistance stays the same. Therefore, the size of the current depends on the applied voltage across the component and its resistance. Voltage is current times by resistance. This is an experiment to prove Ohm's law. And this is the setup. Place the conducting rod at 0 cm of the wire to get the first readings of the current and the voltage. Repeat this at 5 cm increments to 30 cm. The resulting graph looks like this. If we left the wire to heat up, the current would no longer be proportional to the voltage. This is because the atoms impede the flow of electrons, therefore increasing the resistance. Resistance is how hard it is for current to flow in a material. Thermistors are special types of resistors which decrease in resistance when the temperature increases. They are used in thermostats and fire alarms. Light dependent resistors, otherwise known as LDRs, are special types of resistor which increase the number of free electrons when the light intensity increases. They are used in burglar alarms and photographic equipment. Diodes only allow current to flow in one direction. This is because in one direction the diode has a low resistance, but a very high resistance the other way. They are used to change AC to DC. This graph illustrates how the diode behaves. In a filament bulb, the current can flow in both directions. However, when it is first switched on, the resistance is low, but over time it increases. Therefore, the current is affected. This is because the filament becomes hot. Chapter 10 done!